Hey, hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel for another pregnancy update. So this is going to be for weeks 13 and 14. Uh, so if you're interested to see how I've been feeling, what's been happening the past couple weeks, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so for this pregnancy update, I'm just gonna go ahead and answer the same questions that I answered last week. I think that's what I'll just do each update because that covers basically all of the questions, all of the things that one would want to know about a pregnancy and what's going on, I guess. <laughs> So this is, like I said, for weeks 13 and 14. So the first question is, how far along are you? And today I'm actually 14 weeks, two days. Um, by the time you see this video, it'll probably be like 14 weeks, four or five days. Uh, the next question is total weight gain. So at this point, I think I've gained 10 pounds and that seems like a lot to me. And I know I can just feel it. I know I've gained. 10 pounds, <laughs> but um, my doctor is not concerned with my weight gain. I saw him just the other day. So I'm gonna try not to be concerned with it either and just do the best I can to work out and be healthy, eat as healthy as I can. Um, and if he is concerned, I'll let him <laughs> bring that up to me. Um, I really don't know like how much you're supposed to be gaining each trimester, but I'm in my second trimester now. And um, who knows, maybe I won't gain a lot of weight this trimester, but I could pro very easily gain another 10 pounds probably this trimester. Who knows? I'm going to really try not to focus on it too much, um, like I said, and just try to take care of my body. I feel really good as far as um, my energy levels now and stuff, but um, I definitely know I, I've gained 10 pounds. I can feel it. So yeah, we'll just move on from that question. Um, so on to the next question, which is maternity clothes. Are you wearing maternity clothes? Yes, I am. I am actually wearing a maternity dress right now that I got in the summer on clearance at Old Navy. And I bought it just cause it was like five bucks or something like, and I liked the color. I thought it was super cute. Um, I figured, you know, I'm going to be pregnant eventually. So I might as well, you know, hopefully that was my hope. I may as well just snag it. Um, and I'm glad I did because this morning when I was getting ready for church, I had to try on two other dresses that didn't fit since like the last month, um, uh, before I finally just gave in and put this on. And I was like, wow, this is way comfier too. So I think maternity clothes is just what I'm going to be in from now on. Cause it's just comfier. I just feel better in it. So yes, I am in maternity clothes. Okay, next question is stretch marks. Not yet. Um, I don't know if I'll get them because my two sisters didn't get them and my mom didn't get them. So I'm hoping that it is like a hereditary thing. I've heard that it is, but I don't know. Um, I did buy a big tub of coconut oil. So I'm going to put some of that into like a small little jar and put it in my bathroom and rub that on me every night. I think just all over my body because that's what my sisters did. And they said it really helped with like the itchiness and stuff. I haven't gotten like itchy or anything, um, yet. So I'm hoping that if I just keep myself really nice and moisturized with something good like coconut oil, then I will be just fine. All right. The next question is how are you sleeping? And I am sleeping great right now because I'm not waking up a million times to go to the bathroom like I was in the beginning of the pregnancy. That was so annoying. Um, I wake up maybe once, but I usually sleep through the whole night now. But then when I wake up my bladder and my kidneys hurt so bad. So, um, yeah, I'm sleeping pretty good and I have been taking Unisom most nights still. And so that really helps me sleep pretty good as well. Um, the next question is best moment from the past couple weeks since I did my last update. And I would say the best moment for sure is, um, when we got to hear the baby's heartbeat at our OB appointment this past week, I just, it's, such a relief and it feels like because I wait a month to go to my OB it's like those four weeks just like they go by fast they kind of go by slow but then um when I go in I'm always a little bit like anxious nervous hoping to like hear the heartbeat right away and sure enough we did this past week he put the Doppler on and we heard the heartbeat right away he even put the Doppler on the placenta where the like the placenta is pumping blood and um, 
he said that everything sounded perfect. It was crazy to hear. You could hear the fast little heartbeat of the baby and then you could hear like my heartbeat, like the slow, it was really cool. And the heartbeat was, the baby's heartbeat was at 160. And mine was like 70 or whatever. So that was really, I love that. It was awesome. Okay. Um, okay. So the next question is, are you missing anything? Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know if I even dare say this cause I might be like punching myself later, but, um, I kind of miss my small boobs <laughs> and I know that like I've always wanted, I've always like been unsatisfied with having such a small chest, but my boobs are huge <laughs> these days and I just like I literally like I've said I probably talk about them in every update but it's just so foreign to me because I'm literally like before when I'd wear anything like you didn't even notice they were there and now it's just like they're just I don't know what to do with them and then when I sleep I feel like I need to start wearing like a bra to sleep in because I just feel like Ugh. <sighs> but I'm gonna try and just wear them with pride <laughs> at this point because they're probably just gonna get bigger especially with you know, if I start to breastfeed or whatever, you know, I do, like, they could definitely get bigger. Anyway, so I'm kind of missing them, surprisingly. Um, okay, the next question is, are you feeling any movement? Uh, no, not that I know of, but I do feel like the other day I was laying down and I, like, was trying to, like, just, you know be in tune with the baby, just like lay there and like, you know, just like have a moment with the baby. And I, could, I felt like I could feel like little flutters, but then I'm like, well, maybe it's just cause I was like wanting to feel that I was too focused on it. So maybe I was just, you know, making it up in my head, but it kind of felt like it was just weird. It was like really low, kind of felt like gas bubbles a little bit, but it was really low. So I was like pushing on my stomach, trying to like make her move. Anyway, I know I'm probably crazy. I probably didn't feel anything yet, but I can't wait to hopefully within the next month. Um, next question is food cravings. I am still craving cornflakes like crazy. I want to eat them every breakfast and then after dinner before bed. A lot of times I want them. Um, I'm craving like mac and cheese and like pasta still. Uh, these are all things I've craved before. I, this week I was craving just a plain cheeseburger, like a really just like McDonald's cheeseburger with pickles. Like, yeah, it's not good. Um, but I have been craving more and more like really healthy things. Like I craved boiled eggs the other day and like I was wanting salad and like grilled chicken. Like I was wanting healthy things. So anytime I, I want something healthy, I really try to get it because, and I've been trying to be better about like menu planning and stuff. And that's been a lot easier for the most part. I feel like I'm back to craving what I usually eat, but I don't know. Maybe I've jinxed myself too. Cause when I started telling people like, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better and I'm craving things that I used to love. Well then last night I went, um, out to eat with Eric and literally the only thing I wanted was a grilled cheese sandwich. Like I ordered it off the kids menu and just had a grilled cheese sandwich with like plain mashed potatoes on the side. It was like the wimpiest meal, but it was literally the only thing that sounded appetizing. So I don't know. I, I don't want to like say that I'm all feeling totally normal because I feel like it's just going to jinx, you know, it's just going to jinx me. Oh, I just, yeah. Okay, so um, the next question is, is anything making you queasy or sick? Uh, yeah, I am still nauseous every night around 7 p.m. Um, some nights are worse than others. Like last night, again, was that's probably why I was just craving something really simple like grilled cheese because I just was not feeling good last night. It, nausea hit me hard when we were going out to eat and to a movie last night. Oh man, we were driving in the car and I had like a sweater on, like a turtleneck thing up here. And I was like, I had to just like take off my jacket and my turtleneck. And it, well, it was like a 
poncho thing so I had a shirt under but like I had to just take everything off in the car I was like so claustrophobic like I felt like I was gonna throw up and uh, I was like having a little mini panic attack um but it was like much better after I like got the air going in the car and stuff Eric was probably like you are a crazy woman but I don't know what happened I just was not feeling very good last night unfortunately um uh yeah so still not just at night car rides have always made me sick since I've been pregnant like not throw up sick but I get queasier when I drive in the car um and then last night when we were at dinner Eric kept like looking at like all these really meaty meals on the menu and it was really really grossing me out so I don't know if that's like I don't know if it was just last night but I'm Today I've woke up feeling nauseous, so I don't know. I'm just kind of bugged about that, but I'm trying to have a good attitude too. It's just like I'm weak. I'm 14 weeks right now, so I just thought by this point I would be feeling like totally blissful and normal, but you know I just gotta take things as they come. Um, okay, the next question is gender question mark. Uh, girl, we are having a girl told you guys that and maybe I should remove this question from the questions but we are having a girl for those of you who maybe are new here and we're super duper excited still no name I'd love to hear your guys's name suggestions down below we have I think two that we really like that I go back and forth on um I think if Eric was the sole decider he would pick one of these names um but I'm still I'm still not 100% convinced that that's what I want our first girl to be named or and I'm just struggling with spelling and um, I really want a name that's like easy to spell, easy to create a nickname, easy to, I don't know, no, and that no kids could make fun of their name. I don't know. So I'm struggling a bit. I would love to hear some name suggestions. Just maybe there's something we're not even considering out there that we might really like okay um symptoms uh yes i have a few so at 13 weeks maybe a little sooner than that or earlier than that i started getting headaches which is not fun um because you can't take anything so i have been using um it's like a doTERRA product deep blue and i'm pretty sure you can use that when you're pregnant i haven't even asked my doctor but i'm pretty sure that's fine um the essential oils in it are fine for when you're pregnant, so it should be fine. But um, I just rub it on my neck, and that usually helps to take the headache away, um, or at least, like, calm it down a bit. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, so, yeah, headaches are one of my symptoms. Acne, I'm getting, like, weird acne on my cheeks up here that I've never had before. I, I never really get acne on my cheeks, but I am getting acne on my cheeks. So my contacts are still burning my eyes. That was in my last update, I talked about that. So I've been having to wear my glasses a lot more, um, kind of annoying. I really don't wanna complain, you guys. I sound like I'm complaining a lot, but this is just, it's just pregnancy. This the weird things that happen to your body. My boobs are still so sore. I have that written down. <laughs> um, yeah, they're just very, very tender. My poor uh, chest. <laughs> um, and then I have been like more nauseous throughout the day, not just at night. It's definitely the worst at night, but I just felt a little queasy all day long. It's just kind of like in the background, but it's not debilitating or anything. I can still go about my day. I just need to eat constantly. And it's hard to know like how much I should be eating. Like when I eat something, I'm like, is that enough? So I might eat a little bit more and then it's like too much. It's a weird hard thing to balance but yeah so more nausea but it's totally doable it's totally bearable next question is belly button in or out um it's still in definitely still in um <laughs> wedding rings on or off I still have my ring on and um the next question is happy or moody most of the time I'm mostly happy for sure but man have I had some moody moments and especially today I have been so moody, like, it, well, it just started off bad because my alarm didn't go off this morning. I didn't actually turn it on last night, I guess, 
So that kind of like threw off my day. I hate when my alarm doesn't go off when I'm planning that, on it to go off because it just, it really just, I feel like it ruins my day. But I need to have a better attitude. Um, so yeah, I'd say happy most of the time for sure, but I do have my mo moody moments or days like today. Um, what are you looking forward to over the next couple weeks? So uh, I don't know. We don't have a ton going on. I am traveling to Arizona next weekend. Yeah, not this Friday, but the next Friday. My brothers are running an Ironman, running, biking, cycling, whatever, swimming in an Ironman. So I'm going to go film that for them. So that will be fun because we have a lot of family down there. So I'm excited to go and visit. And then the last thing on this list is a belly shot. And you guys, I have definitely popped. Like, I'll show you. It's not like, I don't know if you can tell, but I can definitely tell that I have popped. You can see my little bump. You guys see that? Um, yeah, this week I just um, started popping out. And that's why I'm in maternity clothes. So on Monday, it was funny, I came home from work and on the drive home, I just like had to unbutton my jeans because I was so uncomfortable. So I walked in the house, my jeans are like open and Eric's like, wow, you okay? <laughs> he just like gave me this funny look. Um, and yeah, I've just decided to pack up all of the things <laughs> that I have in my closet that just aren't comfortable and just get new things if I need it. Anyway, gosh, I feel so moody. So sorry that this pregnancy update has been a little moody. <laughs> and then if I've been, if you feel like I've been complaining, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to complain, but um, yeah, it's just pregnancy is a little roller coaster, I guess. Um, but yeah, overall, so excited, so happy um, to be pregnant. And I still have those moments where I'm just like, well, at least I'm pregnant. <laughs> like I mentioned in my last um, pregnancy update, just because I've been, it's been so hard for us to get pregnant. So very exciting. Very, very grateful. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this pregnancy update and for following me on this journey, this new adventure. Um... If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and keep following and turn on the bell notifications if you want to get notified right when I update or like upload a video. I don't have a like upload schedule, so that's the best way to know like right when I update um, or upload a video. And follow me on Instagram for more like day-to-day -day updates. Um, and yeah, that's it. See you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.